This video covers duplicate part files. Duplicate parts. This means you have the same file name inserted into the assembly, but the files are located in different directories. When the file is saved with the file save command, this is not an issue because all of the files are saved in their current directory. When the file save all command is used, the Libre will attempt to put all of the models and subassemblies into a single folder. It cannot do this, however, if some of the files have the exact same name. You can change the name or the location of these duplicate files when you go to File Save All As. In the File Name column, select the individual file you want to rename and then click on it again. The file name will now be highlighted and it can be renamed. If you want to keep the same file name but change where the file is saved to, in the Location column, click on the item you want to change, then click on it again. The location of the file can now be manually changed. After all the files are renamed or moved to new locations, you should be able to save the assembly that has duplicated part file names. The linking of files can sometimes cause issues when the files are saved in the Windows filing system. If the name of a file is changed from outside of a Libre, and then another file that is dependent upon that file is opened, an error message box will appear, letting you know that the file cannot be found. This happens because the link between the files has been broken. Once the link has been restored, the dependent files will open up correctly. There are two scenarios that a part can have, and are designated by a green or a red ball. The green ball means the file is OK. The red ball means the specified file cannot be found and will have to be relinked. In this case, the axle part has been renamed with the Windows Rename File command. Upon opening the pulley assembly file, Libre Design looks for the part named Axle, but does not find a file by that name in the directory where it was the last time it was saved with a Libre Design. Here's an example to illustrate what happened, as well as how to solve the problem. Initially, the following four parts are created and saved in a folder named Parts, located on the C drive. Base plate, extension, wheel, and axle. From these initial parts, an assembly named Pulley Assembly is created, and a 2D drawing of the pulley is created and saved as Pulley Drawing. In Windows, Axle is renamed to Axle Old. The next time pulley assembly or pulley drawing is opened, an error message will appear saying that the file, Axle, cannot be found. Since these changes happened outside of Libre Design, Libre is still looking for the part originally named Axle. Once this file is relinked using Axle Old, both the assembly and 2D drawing will open up correctly. You can relink to a part as the selected assembly file is opening. When the Missing Designs dialog appears, left-click on the part with the red ball to the left of it. Click on the Replace button. Select the replacement part in the file list. Notice the red ball has now turned green. Click on the OK button to finish opening the assembly file. This video covered duplicate part files. When you have the same file name inserted into the assembly, but the files are located in different directories, you have duplicate part files. After all the files are renamed or moved to new locations, you should be able to save the assembly that has duplicated part file names. The linking of files can sometimes cause issues when the files are saved with the Windows filing system. If the name of the file is changed from outside of a Libre, then another file that is dependent upon that file is opened, an error message box will appear, letting you know that the file cannot be found. This happens because the link between the files has been broken. Once the link has been restored, the dependent files will open up correctly.